Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple sign with my Monport CO2 laser. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-paint both of my quarter inch pieces of plywood that I'm going to use to make this sign. It just makes it way easier to pre-paint these before you throw them in the laser. That way it cuts it out, looks very crisp. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my small spray shelter inside my garage here and I'm going to get this done. Okay, so on this project, I'm going with Bare Premium Spray Paint. I've always had good luck with it, so I really like it. Um, I'm going with the blue, which they call inked in gloss, a vintage gold metallic, and a red, which I call no more drama. And one good tip is to go ahead and pick up one of these little spray guns for the top of the spray cans. It really helps make a more consistent finish. Okay, now that we're in Lightburn, we're going to go ahead and go to File and Import. And I'm going to import both of my designs. Okay, 23.5 and 23.5 for the other one. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste both of these names because I'm going to need two separate layers for these because you'll see here in a second the way I'm going to change these layers I'm going to cut out the 2023 all the way and then I'm just going to engrave the names on both of these that's going to give me an alignment aid and let me know where I can put my glue when I go to put these together and then these two pieces over here are actually going to be my my cutout my black line is going to be at 15 millimeters a second and 35 power for my cutouts and I'm going to ungroup these now so that I can make a new line for that name and make another line for the bottom name and I'm going to change these settings I'm going to speed these up and drop the power way down so that way all I'm doing is scoring a little line there so I'm going to go 250 millimeters a second 20 percent power okay now Okay, so now I have these set up. Now, obviously this all isn't going to fit at one time, and I don't want it to fit at one time either because the pieces that I have are only about 12 inches by 24 inches, the scrap pieces that I'm using. So what I'm going to do is over here in the cut and layer section, you can change the output and whether or not Lightburn actually shows the vector. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off everything except for my first 2023 and I'm going to go ahead and change this one to a different color here. Group that together. Let's call this one number six. So now all that is going to, when I run this, all that's going to actually go to the laser is my layer 00, zero which is a cutout layer and a layer number two which is just a line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move number two up first because in order here this is the order of operations that it's gonna go get cut out or engraved onto the laser so I want to start with layer number two do a quick engraving on the name here and then second I will cut out my shape. And then to cut all these pieces out, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these outputs. I'm just going to start with this layer here, number two and zero, and just continue down the list. Let's load up the name.
so now that we've got all our pieces cut out, what we're gonna do is assemble everything. So you can see right here, this is the area that I just engraved with a, with a line here going along this, and this is just like the outline of the name. And again, the reason I did that is because it gives me kind of a pattern where I can put my glue on these certain spots, and then I can use activator on the other side of the name and stick everything together. It helps me line it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using Starbond, uh, black, medium thick CA glue, and a little bit of accelerator. So I'll put the glue on the 2023 shape and the activator on the name. And it just takes a little dab. You don't wanna to put too much again so it doesn't squeeze out everywhere. Okay, a little activator on the back of the name. And again, I'm gonna use those lines as a guide. And sometimes I don't even use the activator just to give you a little bit more time But there you go. Okay, so there you have it. That's one method that I use to make laser engraved signs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you have any ideas or for any content that you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. I'd like to hear that as well. Thanks a lot for watching.